Hello, I'm Katie, and I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly optimize your VRChat avatar's texture memory. It's entirely reversible, and you don't really need much Unity knowledge. Just follow along with Slugcat. First off, head to vpm.thry.dev, which is also in the video description. Click this blue button, Add to VCC. It will ask you to choose an application. You want to open the Creator Companion, and hopefully it opens up. But for in my case, it didn't actually open what I needed to do. So I'm going to click that button again, click it again, and now it's opening it up and trying to add it to the repository. If the dialog box doesn't work at all, you can also click copy, head to your creator companion, it is under settings, packages, and then this button, add repository, you can control V, paste, and add it, and add it. And if you scroll down, you have Thrive's VPM listing, head up to your projects, manage your project, scroll down and find Thrive's avatar performance tools, go ahead and add it. After that's done loading, you can open your Unity project. Now that we're in Unity, go to the top up here where it says Thry, click Avatar and VRAM. That'll pop this up. Take your avatar, click and drag to the input, and this will show you your texture memory and your total memory in VRAM. Uh, mine is a hilarious 327 megabytes, so down here where it says textures, click that to expand it, scroll down, and this is a list of all your textures. This is the texture memory of each texture. Uh, this is the texture size, which is entirely reversible. All of this is just controlled through this. Uh, if you click, for example, 2048, that'll reduce the texture, and it'll be down here because this is sorted by size. Uh, and so now what you want to do is move your camera to a reasonable distance, something that would be akin to where you would normally talk to somebody or look at yourself in the mirror, which is probably about this, maybe even further. Because I am very funny, I have all of my textures set to 4K. Uh, so you can actually just go through these and one by one click them, bring them down to 2K. Uh, and f for most of the textures, you won't notice any difference at all. Uh, for some things like the body texture, which covers the entire body and the face, uh, you might notice when you click this button and reduce the size that it will get a little bit more blurry. So for bodies and like skins and very large textures that will take up a large portion of a mesh, you might want to keep them to 4K that is usually the only time you would want to do that. So find the texture, click this button, click 4K. Keep going through here. You can reduce them to 2K. Hopefully you don't have that many 4K textures, but... So now that I've done this, all of my textures are 2K or smaller. Uh, my texture memory is now from 300 to 87, which is pretty good. You could stop the video here and um, have this huge improvement, but we're going to squeeze even more out of this. So for small objects, like uh, the eyes, for example, even if you get really up close, you won't see a difference if I set it to 1K. Uh, and you'll only really notice it if I set it to 512. It gets noticeably blurry. So I'm going to set this to 1K. That'll save me like 4 megabytes. Um, there's things that are like small objects um, like for example, I have a cheese texture on this avatar, a cheese that can be slapped on my face. Uh, so if you want to enable objects or hide them, uh, you go to your hierarchy. And if something is grayed out, that means it is disabled. The game object is disabled. Uh, if you go to the inspector, there's a checkbox here to turn it back on and turn it off. Uh, make sure you turn it back off when you're done adjusting the texture. But for this cheese, it's just a plain yellow texture. So I could really set this down. There's no difference whatsoever. I could set it to 512. I don't see any difference. Uh, and then it has a normal map, same thing. It's like, there's, there's no reason for it to be 4K. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna turn it back off. Um, so there's things like the fur. The fur is just the uh, the, the chest fluff. Uh, it might be the hair. Uh, there's also 
this texture for the main, uh, those could be a lot smaller. Those could be 1024. Uh, I can't notice the difference. No one else in VRChat is going to notice the difference. And then you just want to go down on this list and look for like what each texture really is. So like the brush here is just a, a hairbrush with a very basic brush uh, texture. Uh, if I were to click on this, it will show me in the project view what this texture is. It's very, very plain. It really could just be uh, 512 and no one's going to notice. No one's, there's, there's really no difference. One more thing you might notice in this list is textures that you aren't using at all. So for example, this blue texture, uh, if I double click it opens, this is a texture that came with the avatar that I'm not using at all. It was just an alternate palette swap. Uh, so you can go ahead and set that to 128. Um, and if you really want to see where this texture is so that you can take it off of your avatar completely, you can click the buttons on the left here to show what material is used. Uh, that will select it in your project and you can go through there. Uh, I won't be going in how to do that though. Lastly, you can squeeze a little more texture memory from your avatar with uh, these buttons by changing the texture compression type. Um, you may not want to do this for certain kinds of textures. Anything with transparency, you don't want to do it. Anything with um, very smooth gradients. Uh, I can show you here on the leg. Um, there is a smooth gradient here with the shadow that's baked in. If I turn this to DXC1 from BC7, it gets a little bit of ugliness and compression. Uh, but if you want to undo that, it's easy to experiment and just set it back BC7. Uh, and that's it's back to the way it was. And that's really all there is to it. Just set your camera to a distance that you might normally be viewed at. Uh, play with your texture sizes. Get, try to get them as low as possible. Uh, just experiment. And you can get your avatar from 300 megabytes down to 50 pretty easily. And this is probably going to get even lower. And thanks for watching. I hope it helps.